Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Silad and this is Discovering Two Wheels. This week we decided to cycle down to the seaside and we have chosen Hastings as the destination. Cycling from London to Hastings and back was going to be a little bit of a too long ride so we drove down to Groomsbridge and we left the car there and we took off. The ride itself was about 120 kilometers. We have ridden a little bit in Kent but the majority of the route was in Sussex. The elevation was supposed to be about 1500 meters but at the end Strava told us that we did nearly 1800 meter elevation so till present day this is the most elevation we did in one day. We really enjoyed this trip first of all because of the scenery it was really really pretty Kent is beautiful Hastings was really nice as well and then even though that we had to do a lot of elevation which means a lot of hill climbs we had some really sick downhill descents as well I managed to capture some of those fast downhills you can check out the clips at the end of this video so yeah I think we can say that this was one of the most fun rides we have done so far Properly sunny today. We're loving this. Anyway, so today is Tuesday and we are in Groomsbridge. This is where we're gonna leave the car and we're gonna take off. Now, because it's sunny and the weather is nice, I have high hopes. This shall be a very nice ride. And then in Hastings, hopefully, the weather is gonna be very similar. I just would love to have a coffee on the seaside. I would really, really dig that. So, yeah. That's what I have in mind. Well, after all, this is Kent, Garden of England, yeah? So, expectations are high. Now it's time to take off and enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the ride. Right here in Hastings, on the pier. Maybe you can see the sea in the background. Maybe. I took some pictures, just as a proof. We only did 70 kilometers. I thought it was more. I miscalculated. Which means I'm pretty sad now. We have to do another 50. And... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a shit show, <laughs> yes. Because... <laughs> Because I don't even know how many uh, how many meters we did uh, from the 1500 meter elevation, and if it's less than a thousand, 
I seriously <laughs> gonna start crying because I don't I don't think I have more in my legs than another 500 meters elevation. But <laughs> I have a strange feeling there's gonna be more. So we'll see. At at one point, I think um, yeah, the place is called Vinchasi Rai. Mm. It's like a combined village or whatever. And I started to zone out a little bit, and so did Tom too. And uh, I was like, shit, we still have to do a massive here just to get to Hastings. And then after that, the rest of the route. And uh, so I started to lose a little bit of a hope. But destroyed the massive lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> Had a coffee. And uh, so hopefully, hopefully we can make it back to the car in one piece. Also, it's a quite eventful ride. For like 70 kilometers, we... Tom almost hit two deers. Tom almost hit uh, Volvo SUV. The boy is feeling strong today. <laughs> you just want to hit things. What two was deer. the Volvo SUV? What was it? The SUV, you know, the crossing. Well, you thought that it's a roundabout. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you, you almost took out the Volvo SUV. <laughs> what else? And then the next thing is going to be like walking out of the pier and then Tom will be punching seagulls in the air. <laughs> Holding the bike with one hand and then just throwing jabs at seagulls. That's I, jumped, I jumped the gorge. Ah, yeah. oh, dude, it's like... The roads are really, really nice here in Kent. Generally speaking, they are really good quality. But you got uh, the drainage and the crack sometimes between the asphalt and the drainage is exactly what Tom said. It's a fucking gorge. It's like the Mariana Trench. You're trying to jump over the Mariana Trench. Okay, that's a little bit much, but still. I actually ended up buckling my wheel. And I don't know, we hit another two or three more. And I'm gonna have to pick up the bicycle and run home with it. Yeah, a lot of people talk shit about Hastings, but our impression is that my thumb is in the picture, which is not necessary. <laughs> uh, our impression is that that's pretty cool. Wouldn't necessarily live here all the time, but I think it's a quite nice place to have a little holiday home. I, I, I could imagine. I, we like it a lot more than Brighton and definitely beat South End on Sea by a long shot. Which other seaside towns did we see? Margate. Margate, yeah, definitely beats Margate as well. I mean, Margate is really nice, but it smells like shit, so... Mm. It's, it's constantly... Like, I, I don't think that you can go in a place like Margate... minute. What, Margate? No, or Hastings? Oh, Hastings. right, okay. I was like, you have a weird taste <laughs> if, if, you, if you really like Margate that much. No, it's just the smell is gross. But yeah, definitely for a ho little holiday home, I could totally imagine. I mean, like, I don't know if you can see much of it, but you got those hills there. And... Uh, up there as well. I mean, I could imagine having a little flat yeah. up in those buildings and then, you know, just come down a week or two in every summer and then um, just have fun. Digging, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Almost like Wagamama. You know what would suck big time? Mm -hmm. Eating this lemon cake and a seagull drop a massive shit in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for the animals, but I would hunt down the mother <laughs> with my little wooden knife. <laughs> <laughs> Stab you like 100 <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> Did it die? <laughs> yeah, vendetta for the lemon cake. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Yeah, that would be sketchy. <laughs> Thank you.
Wow, we are back. That was a really, really awesome ride. Like from the distance point of view, the downhill is the most fun we ever had. Good quality roads, so you could smash it. And now the only problem was that I had my back wheel buckled. So I had to be really careful how fast actually I was pushing the downhills. I did my best. You know, the vibration gets really, really bad. So it, it's kind of, you know, I'm not saying that that is scary, but, but you know, you need to be a little bit cautious about. So I wasn't pushing as hard as I wanted to, but I still had plenty of fun. And uh, yeah, the scenery again, bang on perfect. Hastings, we really, really liked it. So I'm definitely coming back here. If, you know, not cycling that, you know, driving down here in the morning and then go home in the afternoon, I think it's going to be a perfect day off. Yeah. It was an epic ride, so sun was out all day, haven't had major issues other than the, the wheel was causing a bit of a headache, but that's it. The, the one thing what from the performance point of view I realized is that um, I tend to wear sometimes one too many layers and the overheating is bad. I have to figure out how many layers is exactly the, the layers what I need. It gets tricky because in the morning it's really cold and we really don't like stopping if we don't have to unless we see something nice but you know just stopping to dress and undress and stuff like this. I'm really not keen on that one but uh, hopefully now the, the temperature between the mornings and the afternoons is gonna be a little bit more equalized and then so we don't have to worry about that but other than that smooth 120 ish kilometers loved it guys that was it for this week's episode i hope you enjoyed the content if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel check out our other videos on this channel as well we talk about training and we create top tip videos too as usual i left all of our social media links in the description below you can follow us on strava komoot facebook and instagram as well if you have any questions regarding our trips or training in general please let me know in the comment section below or you can contact me directly through my website as well. You can find the link in the description. And if you're already visiting my website, don't forget to sign up for my fortnightly health and fitness newsletter. Well, thanks very much for tuning in. I will be back shortly with a new episode. In the meantime, take care and stay safe. Ciao!